Hey guys! Hey! Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back! My name is Michael. Faith. And we are the, the Stalwart Lovers. Lovers. Okay, if this is your first time watching our video, you're welcome. Stay around long enough and like this video if you love it. Make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Mm -hmm. And if you're returning, you know that we love you. Alright? Yes, and before we jump right into the video that we have for today, we are going to be having a monthly prayer meeting October 30th, that's the last Saturday of this month by well, 10 a.m. our time, 3 p.m. Nigerian time. So please make sure you watch out for the handbills. We're going to post it on our Instagram, on our YouTube community page. Watch out and please be there. It's going to be powerful. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. Yeah, so babe, what are we doing today? Okay, today we're talking about this kiss kiss something. Mm. Our first kiss, guys. Mm. How do you feel talking about this? <laughs> That's how I feel. I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> all right so there have been a lot of conversations we've had with people and a lot of christians asking us about kissing is kissing okay in the in the christian relationship in the christian mm -hmm. dating setting and this video is going to do justice to that all right but before we go into what that video is we want to just tell you about our first kiss and show you the video because it's actually captured on, on camera, camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we got married uh, we we had our first kiss when we got married yeah. in the court yeah before then none of us had uh, kissed anybody had kissed anybody so literally my first kiss and her first kiss was yes. on the same day on the same at day our at same time <laughs> at our court wedding yeah and guys <laughs> it was it was just weird initially it was like okay so i'm going to be when the day started like ah so i'm going to kiss my husband today i'm going to kiss this guy so finally relationship with today. <laughs> three years and like four okay. months relationship. but the only problem was i'm going to be asked with kissing in front of everybody everybody her parents her yeah, exactly family. and your parents everybody was there everybody and and the <laughs> way when the moment was approaching closer and closer i was like okay that's how it goes but when they said it finally that okay it was your kiss it was your kiss <laughs> I was initially, you know when I was like, I was like this, you know, I was moving close. You close your eyes? I didn't yeah, I think, close I think, my I, eyes. I think the problem was the fact that I closed my eyes. I initially closed my eyes and, you know, I was moving up. I think, I initially <laughs> was, my eyes were entirely opened actually. But moving this close, I've never been this close to him. So, it, I in that moment, Not I literally shooking. didn't know what to do. I just closed my eyes. I literally went up, I almost kissed his nose. <laughs> <laughs> what happened was, I opened my eyes. I wanted to take my time to lean in to kiss you, so I just slowed down a little bit. I just saw that you just like kiss yeah. me already. <laughs> it doesn't really kiss me already. It was more like I where's your know, mouth now? It's like where's your mouth? Like <laughs> you literally because put my eyes your were kiss closed. on this part of my yes, mouth. Yes, exactly. Like because my eyes were closed, I didn't know where his mouth was. Like I just started laughing. I was literally laughing in the middle of the kiss. Like is this what first kiss is supposed to be? <laughs> Even the woman that was joining was like, Are you guys not husbands and wives? Are you guys not married? <laughs> anyway, then, anyway, that was how the first kiss was. Yes, we'll just show you a clip of it. Yes. They didn't even show the kiss full, sir. Yeah, so it wasn't even like very long. It wasn't so really it was long. Just, like, it was my younger brother that was recording. Yeah, you yeah. Know, but I was just laughing in the middle of it. Like, do matter, she yeah, I was just, I'm not shaking, I like, not shaking, but like my, I was, my coordination was also not right. A part of me was feeling like, this should be feeling different. This should be feeling different. Why does this feel like, saliva? It just feels, you know, a little bit. Like, you know, we, we talked about it before, that they are going to ask us to kiss you. Are we ready? And you have always wanted to, like, you've always loved kissing. Yes, that's the thing. I'd always had that, like, as a fantasy, like, at the back of my mind. That was one of the major things I was looking forward to. Apart from sex in itself, although sex was, I feel like I even look forward to kissing more than yeah. sex in itself. But I look sex was more to... like, I know I'm going to have sex, so there's no... It's... Yeah. I but... look forward to something else as well, not sex either. I think I've mentioned that before. Mm -hmm. So, I was, I literally, and I, if I had a few days to the wedding, I went on YouTube, okay, how do they even kiss? How do they position the lips? <laughs> I had to position the lips because I, I, I wasn't just. It has to be a, a, a documentary, uh, X shape. Yeah. Uh, put this one on top, the lip on top of the other. <laughs> so how does it really work? Anyway, I just knew that it's something I would just practice and learn along yeah. the way. 
Yeah. Anyway, that's just the funny In story. Fact, one one funny part is we talked about it and she feels she feels like the first time she you know kisses that it's going to be electrifying. In fact, the word electrifying was part of the things we always talk about. So literally coming out of the court wedding hall, I was asking her, "Did you feel any electrifying anything?" She was like, "No." <laughs> I think yeah. it's even recorded. Yeah, it's and recorded. we could play that one as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Kiss guys, I hope yeah. you had a good laugh. I hope you had a good laugh. Anyway, mm-hmm. that's by the way. Now let's talk about this. Is kissing a sin? Yeah. As a Christian, uh should you be kissing you're single, you're in a relationship, should you be kissing your dating spouse? Mm-hmm. Alright. This channel is made primarily for Christians, so we're not ashamed to be very faith based, alright? So let's talk about this. Mm-hmm. Babe, what are the biblical reasons first? Before yeah. we go into the non-biblical, what are biblical reasons why kissing is or is not right for singles? Yeah, so I feel like, you know, people would say there's no word kissing in the Bible, like all kissers shall go to hell. It's not in the Bible, yes, you're very right. <laughs> all kissers shall go to hell, blah, 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 blah. But there is also part of the Bible that says, free all appearances of evil. There's that part of the Bible that talks about lust. You know, being a sin and all that. Mm-hmm. Loss leading to sin, leading to death, mm-hmm. growing up and uh, metamorphing into sin, into death, into yeah. much more problems. Mm-hmm. So, it's something that, I will, it's like a no-brainer. And when it comes to kissing, kissing is like a doorway to every sexual activity. Yeah, Kissing is literally the beginning of foreplay. Mm-hmm. Like, that's where you start. And... If you are kissing someone, what you are, what are you trying to do? There is lustful desires yeah. involved. You are trying to gratify something yes. within you. That's one. And two, you are not fleeing the appearance of evil. There is, you know, when something appears in a certain kind of way, it appears like that. But you are because it is not it. It's like saying, mm. oh, um, I'm standing at the gate of an estate. If you don't enter the gate of the estate, you will not even be able to enter into any of the houses that that are in that estate. Mm-hmm. But if you say, "Oh, I've entered the estate. I'm just playing around," yeah. and those houses, they are calling you. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's pleasure. There's everything locked within those houses. And there's no. But you just want. Exactly. Yeah. There's no problem, But you just want to enter the estate and just play playing football. Play football <laughs> on the streets. <laughs> like you are setting yourself up for danger. You are setting up. You yeah. are setting yourself up for actually fulfilling those lusts yes assessing yourself up for actually getting into sin mm. you know and see i feel like there is a mindset mm. that we as believers should have instead of having that mindset of is it really a sin mm. is it really something that i must not do is it really in the bible mm. it should be more like a mindset of i don't want to do something that will take me closer. close to mm. or closer into sin because I love my relationship with God, because I want to keep preserve my testimony, because I want to keep my body, because I want to hold on God with my body, mm. I will not do this or this or this or that. Mm. That would try kissing that we are talking about now. Yeah. I will not yeah. kiss because I know that it's taking me closer to a point where I would be susceptible to sinning against God. Mm. You know, and that is just the mindset I want us to have. Instead of putting that mind of, oh. It's a, it's, it's, about a, a, it's all about discipline. I can hold myself. Blah blah blah. It's not really about that. It's more about what your relationship with God is and your mindset and about your that relationship and that and your consecration and devotion to God. Yeah. And that is one thing I really want us to see from this spiritual angle. I mean, let's even do this exercise. Let's even look at it this way. If you feel like, oh, kissing is not a sin. I can always kiss. Blah blah blah. Try stopping. Mm. Try stopping. Like, why don't you not kiss your partner? How do you feel about that? How do you feel about that? You feel like, oh, there's something that is not being fulfilled. There's a particular pleasure that you would like to enjoy when you're kissing your partner. And what are those pleasures? Yes, that you have to stop. And what are those pleasures? They are 
sexual and lustful pleasures. So try stop it. So if it is really not a sin, then why should it be difficult to for stop? For you to not do it. For yeah. you to just not do it. Yeah. You know, and you know, even Paul said it that I put my body under. under. Mm. Putting your body under subjection when something feel when you feel like one of the major red flags when something is a sin when you when you feel like oh it's a pleasure you know that you know you're not supposed to have but it's something that you just can't help it and you would even rather sin than do that thing you have to put discipline is important everything in life you have to Honestly, wait for it the test of you discipline. have to wait mm. for it the test of discipline <clears throat> is how much you can actually wait for something yeah and be sane about it yeah you know if 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 i mean there is literally nothing even the life of jesus mm. they had to suffer some things they had to go through some things mm. for the glory to be revealed eventually mm. there's always a waiting season a trying period where you have to make sure you are grounded and you are you know being consecrated mm. in your body mm. so um just as paul said i put my body on that that is how to actually fight against sexual immorality and stuff like that in your relationship mm. you put in even things as small as kissing putting them on that and saying i am not like it there is more strength in saying i am not going to do it and saying uh, well i'll well, do I'll it, anyway. Do it I'm, anyway i'm, I'm disciplined i'm disciplined um, that, the, the real discipline is not in is it not being able, <laughs> is in deciding not to do it it's not in kissing and having sex it's in deciding not to even kiss in the first place or yes. entertain any form of sexual Thing in the first place the last thing i'd like to just mention about this is the mindset you know if we look at it this way that oh kissing i know i know kissing is a sin mm -hmm. and but i just can't stop that's still that's a very good place to be in because you know that you acknowledge that this thing you are doing is wrong, it's wrong. Mm. and it's not going to help that it's you not okay. it's not going to help you exactly and you are you know making ways to change and seeking god's face and you know setting up boundaries mm. and working towards you know not kissing eventually mm. rather than feeling like it's okay it is that's a, that's, that's a dangerous that's, place that's, to that's be. a dangerous place to be yeah. where you feel like oh it's okay i can always kiss i can do this yeah but me i'll kiss my boyfriend or that kind of thing yeah you know and that's just what we are trying to correct taking your mindset from that to yeah. You know, okay, I know it's a sin, but I have a problem. I like this thing too much. Too much. Lord, help me yeah. to stop, you know. I feel like, thank you, baby. When, when you're aware of what you're doing that is not okay, mm -hmm. all right, it's a better place yeah. to be than when you have got, become so desensitized to what is not okay and you make it okay yeah. and you tell yourself it is okay. Yeah. That is a dangerous place to be as a believer. And I think you just nailed it because most people we have counseled and we have spoken to who have gone all the way to sexual churches because see, hardly does it ever start by a man just start touching your breast. All right, it starts with that kissing. All right, and then from there, even the desire that you feel, you know, when you do sexual touches, you get so used to it, you want more. Then you begin to take off clothes. Then the next time you see, you keep wanting more. That's always a trajectory. Yeah. You don't. All of a sudden, the first day is when you went in all the way. Sometimes you could do that if you have been, you know, lustful in your mind and all those things like that. It's just very important. It's your level of consecration, guys. Mm -hmm. It's a matter of consecration. It's a matter of you and God. How far do you want to go for the sake of your relationship with Jesus? Yeah. How jealously do you want to guard your life? All right, that's just it. Mm -hmm. You know, we might not see it clearly in the Bible that it's a sin, but we clear, like you said. It's a sexual act, and sexual act and lustful and lust is a sin in the Bible. Mm -hmm. So do the maths. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Thanks, babe, for that biblical angle that mm -hmm. you know you brought it. So let's take it a little bit, you know, outside the Bible, not aside the Bible. Mm -hmm. you know, we've already talked about the Bible. Now, outside the Bible, you know, even socially, right? Socially and scientifically, if you research, a kiss is a sexual activity. It's a contact, <laughs> but it's 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 online. All right, so that's why you can file sexual assault against someone who kisses you without your consent, someone who touches your butt or your breast without your consent, someone who have sex, has sex with you without your consent. All right, it's a sexual activity, and that's the truth. So any activity you do, whether with contact or without contact, that is towards fulfilling a sexual desire, is a sexual activity, yeah. including 
uh, sexual touches, including sexting on, you know, and all those, and all those evil things you do on phones, so many all right, things, yeah. which you should not do as a believer. Mm -hmm. So even scientifically and according to you know the law, it is a sexual act. Mark that word, and now you are a Christian. So it is a sexual act. It is not an innocent act. Let's, let's yeah, accept it. Yeah, it. It. it is not just nothing. It's not just nothing. And it is not just based on how strong you are or yes. how this you are. It is not are. an innocent act. Let's mm -hmm. just, it's a fundamental foundation. It's a sexual activity. And any sexual activity that is done outside marriage is a sin. Yeah. Alright. Any. It's a sin. You just need to accept that. That's, that's what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. Alright. Now, another thing. Socially, why would you feel cheated on? Because your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your husband or wife kisses someone else. If it is if it is to be just if it is a just thing. <laughs> exactly. I mean, my wife would not have a problem with me hugging another woman. Yeah. Where there is limits, obviously, mm -hmm. because even hugging is sexual touches. If it is very, you know, you know yes, rock state. Yeah. I mean, there's hugging <laughs> and there's hugging. This is this is hugging, and then there is. Let me not display it. So. Yeah. So why would my wife feel differently when I when she sees me? Not when, God forbid. But <laughs> if she sees me kiss someone else, right? She'll definitely feel cheated on, right? Yeah. And people assume if you see your spouse kissing someone, you automatically assume you are cheating on me with the person. You're mm -hmm. probably having sex. Mm -hmm. Look at how they quickly link kiss with sex. That's socially, literally, on that level. Mm -hmm. All right. Another thing is this, you cannot just go to a random person and kiss the person. Yeah. If it is a random thing, you can offer a, a handshake, you can see someone that is hurting or crying, and you lend a shoulder and like a, you know, and a crying shoulder, like hug the person, here's my shoulder, you can lean on me. All those like innocent acts. You can't say, oh, you're hurting, can I just kiss you so you can feel better? You wouldn't do that. Yeah. It's a romantic act that mm -hmm. involves physical intimacy. And because you are dating does not mean that your intimacy should be physical. Yeah. Your intimacy should be in spiritual things, emotional. in your mindset, emotion. You are creating emotional bonds, but not physical bonds. All right. Yeah. Very, very important. And the truth is, there's something we just need to know. As long as you're not married to someone, the person is your brother and, and sister, sister in the Lord. There's no two ways to put, put it. Yeah, that's there a kingdom is no way. contract. You have not signed anything, you've not done any marriage, you've not been tied Even together. if you have proposed and Even if you, you have, have given the ring and you it's are... still a promise. And you are uh, engaged. Exactly. You are not exactly. married. Exactly, exactly. You are not married and that just that is one fact that remains. And as long as you are not married, if you cannot do something with someone that you are not married to or like someone that you are not dating or you're like the person is just your random brother or sister, then if you, you cannot not kiss do it. them, then you cannot kiss whoever you are in a relationship yes. with as well honestly so that's, that's just true. the level of the relationship that's it's marriage biblical, that changes everything yes that's biblical standard anybody that teaches you otherwise that the bible permits that what you can do to your brother and sister in the lord that you can do it to your dating spouse in the sense of physical intimacy is not teaching you true bible principles. yes and look at it this way okay fine God forbid that something happens and you break up. Do you want to keep having carnal knowledge of people, people or people having several knowledge or people having carnal knowledge of you several times over and over again because you just feel like once we are dating we can always kiss. We can kiss. We can you know do uh, what we can make out. That's one is soon soon regular in the church today. All right, so that's it on the social side. Let me just even add one or two. Like for example, why is it that? On wedding days, right, they literally ask the couples to kiss. Mm -hmm. You hear the pastor says, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may now kiss the bride. There's a reason why they put that now. Because it's expected that it is from this moment that you they begin to have <laughs> sexual activity. Yeah. These are truths that we don't preach enough on the mm -hmm. altar. On the we're, not, we're not expected to be having any sexual intimacy or sexual until, you are until you are married. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. All right. It might not see this is we're saying might not land on your your very favorable side, especially if you didn't consider it wrong in the first place. And we're not judging you because we think we did better. We are not very better than you. Important. We are not very better important. than you. All right. We had our own trials. We had our own temptations. We had our own vulnerabilities. vulnerabilities. But God helped. It was hard. I will not lie to you, yeah. it was. We almost messed up, but we didn't. Just to show you that, see, if we could do it, then you can do it. 
So it's possible. It's not impossible. Mm-hmm. And we're not judging you. All right. So mm-hmm. don't forget we said if you know and accept that it is not okay and you're trying to work on it, it's mm-hmm. a better place to be. But it's the, it's the first step to redemption. Yes, than to uh, say that it's absolutely okay and there's nothing wrong with it. That's a dangerous place. In fact, in other areas of your Christian work, you will begin to have subjective truths. Yeah. All right. So very, very crucial. Lastly, uh, PDA, for example, now. Mm-hmm. You know, if kissing is so innocent among dating spouses, why don't we see a lot of dating spouses having PDAs in church? I mean, last Sunday, me and my wife were just so happy dancing to a song, and I was I hugged her and I gave her a kiss on her on her, on her lips. How many dating spouses can do that? Already, you already feel like, well, people will feel this and that. There's just something socially wrong about non-married people, Christians. So what? <laughs> non-married Christians. <laughs> having sexual or physical intimacy. Yes, it's and, just and socially I mean, wrong. so if you, if you feel like, oh, we can do it in private, or I'll do it in public. If it's right? sure for you. If it's sure for With you, your do chest. it in public in full chest. That's what mm-hmm. we're going to say. That's what we're going to say. <laughs> anyway, we said all this to say this, all right? We are demystifying this. You are, a lot of people have that question. I can't count how many times I've been asked, is it okay to kiss my boyfriend? Is it okay to kiss my boyfriend? I know sex is wrong, but what about kissing? All right, and we've told you this. See, it's your choice though, to accept it, it is your level of consecration with God to say, okay, I'm making up my mind for me and God's sake. Not because mm-hmm. Michael and Faith said it. Mm-hmm. All right. For me and God, I think even judging from the decision I've made in time past, I wouldn't have gotten this far if I never really started. You know, I, had, I have had several people who have told us this. Mm-hmm. Several, people. several people. All right. And it's something that, see, no matter how much you have gotten used to this thing, or no matter how much it feels like you can't stop or you don't want to stop, it does not change the biblical standard on things. It doesn't change God's mind about it. Yeah. So it's it's more about aligning. Because something has got to, we have gotten so used to it, everybody around us does it. There are some things that in the world today, yeah, everybody is just right. used to it. Because yeah. it has been so made normal yeah. that you just feel like, yeah, it's normal, it's normal. And if you're anybody is talking against it, <laughs> It you know, feels like but you are the that, old one. Exactly, but see, it is better to be on that side than to just feel like it is not really about the crowd or what is. There are so many things that are legal now, even in the world that yeah, according to the Bible, it's still not legal or it's still not yeah. right. So, so you err on the side of caution. Mm-hmm. All right, if you want to preserve yourself to marriage, then err on the side of caution. Okay, that's just it. Anyway, I think we've said enough on this. We yeah. didn't even plan to take this, take this long, long talking right? about it, but I hope. That this blessed you if you blessed you share this video with someone mm-hmm. that you know it will bless as well you know share it save the link when someone asks you the question send the video to them mm-hmm. or you know internalize the knowledge so that you can articulately teach others as well that this is the standard mm-hmm. all right and this is why this we believe this is wrong mm-hmm. okay so uh don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't turned on the notification yes, when we so. go live for example if your notification is not on you wouldn't know that we are live all right, turn it on. If you're new here again, don't forget to subscribe before you go. Drop a comment. All right. In mm-hmm. fact, I want to know those who watch this video till the end, up to this moment. So mm-hmm. if you watch this video till now, drop a comment and say, um, proudly say, stalwart fam. Proudly stalwart fam. All right. I'm going to give, both of us, we're going to make sure we give you a comment with the stalwart, uh, fam, uh, stalwart lovers account. Not just a love that we normally do, but we're going to give you a comment mm-hmm. as per OG. But not everybody watches video to the end. Mm-hmm. So drop it and it will take note of your names, of course, because I mean perks are coming. I mean end time from next day you'll begin to see perks. Just let me know. Yeah. Let me keep quiet on that. Yeah. Alright, so thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much. And we'll see you in our next video. Yes. So till we come your way again. Keep loving. And keep believing. We are the Star Wars Lovers. Yay.